Uh, he's he, he works. only does his things and work. He doesn't do. He doesn't go out to work. He doesn't go to buildings. That's all he does. He works he at home. He the buildings. What does he do though, Craig? Um, I don't know. Um, he, he, he sings. I used to get so frightened, you couldn't have a conversation a day or two before. I started to come up with images, things to hide behind. See ya. Or so, three or four years from when it all started. And as my music career moves towards the end of it, you've got to think about what you do next. I eventually decided that Los Angeles in particular would be a better place for us to live. I believe it will be positive, yeah. There is no way of knowing. The whole fame thing, imagine you're kind of standing on a train station and this express train comes flying through and you, you put your hand out and it, you grab it and it whisks you away at sort of lightning speed and everything is a blur. And at some point, you lose your grip and then you find yourself in the middle of nowhere, a bit beaten up and totally lost pretty much thought it was over. Luckily for me, thanks to Gemma and her patience and input, she got me back. Is that a rock star? Yeah. I think I'm not good around people. I've got Asperger's, so without her, I'm just monotone, little boring prat in the corner. With her, everything about my life changed. Coverage. Essential. Under eye baggage coverage. That's that. That's not a, a talk through your makeup. That's that, a talk through what's wrong with my face. <laughs> the whole reason for wanting to just get out for a bit was to stop this mental life that had become. Just try to get my feet back on the ground again and try to take stock of what had happened and what was going on. start to cry and get really upset about it and then I'd, you know, it would like dominate and one, one thought happened, the next thought would come along and you couldn't stop it. I'm absolutely in a piece of all over the floor. You know, go and find Gemma, get all hugged up and that, calm down. Depression, anxiety attacks, starting to happen all the time. Your life is falling apart around you, you haven't written a new song in like three years and all you're thinking about is kittens. And I'm in La La Land and didn't give a fuck. When I kind of got through all that, it made me even more focused and more determined to do what I was doing to try to prove everybody wrong. I found my way again and jealously guarded this newfound attitude that I had when I started, my young attitude, rediscovered it and I'd never. to really enjoy it now. I love making music, I love being in a band, I love touring, I love being on stage. You find your way back to railway tracks again. <laughs> Some of the best reviews I've ever had. The one I'm doing now has been six years. It's a slow process, isn't it? Your career's at the strongest it's ever been. And I think for a lot of people, they don't find that again. That's why I've been very lucky. If I could make it last forever, then I would. I really would.